Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. First of all, I want to give honor to God, who's the author and finisher of my faith. I want to honor our pastor, Lady Brown, ministers, saints, and friends, and anyone that I have met. All right, first of all, I want to uh, minister, ma'am, I can relate to you about hearing because I have hearing aids. So that's why I like to listen to a testimony because there's something that I can get from it. Uh, minister Allen. I've been there too, what you're talking about too. So I understand what you're talking about. I'm not just talking about it. Because I, I, I live that. But I know, I didn't know how I got here. But it was God that did it. Amen. You know? And um, I just have a, a quick testimony. Uh, well, I get with the word. I, God had planned my life before I knew it because I had so many close calls. Uh, you know, uh, some people ask me, how do you fall asleep on a bomb? Well, I guess you're so tired, you don't even know when you lay down, you don't even check. Uh, how do you uh, walk off a cliff? Uh, how do you uh, a parachute? And with me, I was parachuting, not by choice. But, you know, you're, you're let out in the wrong place and you're, when you open your eyes and you shoot open, you see nothing but 18 wheelers. Uh, you know, it's, it's a matter of trying to clear that freeway or you're not going to make it. And then you have to deal with that to why. But, you know, God was good for because he was planning my life. I had no idea what he was planning my life. He <clears throat> didn't want me to leave this earth right then. Amen. Because the, law, the average person would have been gone. And so I had no idea that I would be here. And I'm so excited that I'm here today because it was over 11 years ago or where I was baptized uh, at Praise Temple. Praise and uh, for, you, for people out there, faith out there that was baptized, if you're not sure if you got it right, do it again. Do it again. And so, the word is sharper than any two-edged sword, so because most people know me, I don't like the cold weather. I got baptized in January, and it was cold outside. <laughs> and so I believe the pastor hit me with the word, and I went and jumped in the baptism tank. Uh, then the Holy Ghost was the one that uh, struggling with the Holy Ghost. I took me over three months. That was a, at that time we had two services a day. That was an afternoon service. I didn't get it frustrated during the morning service or frustrated. And Pastor Brown said to me that uh, at 3.30 I would meet him back at the church. This day was my day. And uh, Deacon uh, Cunningham, I didn't have a car there, so like you said, Fred was my friend. <laughs> I wrote Fred a lot. But at 3.30, I didn't go anywhere. I stayed there. And I waited until they came back. But at 3.30 that day, what I'm saying is that I was determined that I was going to get it. Yes, sir. And so the devil would tell you if you don't get it a few times, I told you there's no such thing as the Holy Ghost. And you will lose faith and stop believing in it. But that afternoon, I got it. Praise on me. I got it. I say hallelujah. And from then on, I say then on, my life changed. Yes, sir. Some of the things that I used to do, I no longer had the desire to do. Amen. And it didn't happen overnight. But I could see a change, and I started to feel better about myself. Amen. We seem to think that we're doing okay because we're not out robbing people or doing stealing. But as you read the Bible, and it thought, if you read the Bible and read it every day, it will tell you that you're not doing as good as you think you're doing. Amen. The Bible said the saints are going to scare the beginning. Scare. Scare. So that tells you we got some work to do. Amen. As um, Deacon Mary always say, uh, you know, I, uh, what's that? 
they can go serve. <laughs> but uh, we're going to get to the word. Uh, the title, I just wanted to, uh, in my sermon, is paid in full. Hallelujah. And before I got to thinking about that, I got to thinking about some of the sacrifices, some of our leaders that uh, lost their lives, I think John F. Kennedy. When you believe in stuff that is right, people don't like you. Amen. People want to eliminate you. Mm -hmm. Look at our Dr. Uh, Martin Luther King. He knew that his life was going to be taken. Mm -hmm. But yet and still, he carried on with it Amen. for us. Yeah. But that wasn't nothing compared to what, what I'm going to talk to you about, what Jesus did. Amen. Amen. And so I don't know if paid in full, uh, verse 27, I mean verse 35, and it said that they crucified him yes, sir. and parted his garment, yes, cast in lots, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet. They parted my garments among them, and upon my vesture, those clothing, did they cast lots. Lots of straws, you know, pick straws and go first. And it said that the soldiers normally, what they did with the people that they crucified, <laughs> They just took parts of that souvenir, put parts of their clothing of Jesus. They just took, okay, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to take that. And it was a customary that uh, when they were going to the uh, crucifixion site, that the uh, victim had to carry their own cross. Huh? And it said that Jesus had to take his, uh, the long route. Huh? It said that uh, there was uh, various types of uh, uh, crosses, huh? and there was various methods of crucifixion, but it said Jesus was nailed to the cross, and some of them was uh, tied to a rope, but the, the point with Jesus is he died a uh, slow death, uh, a very slow death, and it said that after a while it, it leads to suffocation. Uh, that you, when you follow Jesus, uh, you're going to have to go through something, and, and you're going to have to um, <coughs> suffer and or die. And it said, God I live, and, and God I die. And I said that some people told me uh, two years ago, you're going to die in this church uh, when we had the pandemic. Uh, you know you're crazy for going down there at that church. Uh, and I said to them, uh, what a better place to die than serve the Lord in the church. And I'm still here today. I'm not talking bad about nobody, but some of them are gone. Uh, and I said, uh, who would serve a God like this? Who would serve a God like this? Don't let them talk to you out of church. Don't let them talk to you out of You don't go through something. Jesus went through something. And he went through it for us. You know, we know back in the old days, uh, in the Old Testament, when someone died, there had to be an animal sacrifice. And he said that so many sins were being committed that it was repetitious animal sacrificing. And so Jesus came for us. Amen. Not him. For us. And when you think about it, the way he died. Praise him. Thank you, Jesus. And I went through some pain. Yes, sir. When I went to Japan, uh, I had no idea. I was young. I didn't realize that you had to take shoes off from the plane with feet swell up. Feet swell up and got a pad. So I couldn't walk for three months. Ain't nobody would give me a ride nothing. I went up anywhere to typhoon up. But I realized I needed my feet. But then again, that's nothing compared to having a nail nailed in your body. Hallelujah. And you know, we have to be considerate that uh, we are part responsible for that because the Bible says that what is that Romans 3 and 23 that we are that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. <laughs> and so we are the reason he came down here that we would have salvation. Thank you, Jesus. Who wouldn't serve a God like that? Think about everything you've done before we go to 36. Amen. Before we go to verse 10. Everything that you've done, that he paid it in full for yes, us. Jesus. I like to see when something is paid in full. Yes, I don't know about Jesus. you. Whether it's a car note, a furniture note, I like to see zero balance. Huh? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, but 
He didn't pay this with no money. He paid this with blood. Huh? For you and me. Who would not serve God like that? And it says in verse 36, it says that they sit him down, they watch him, and set it up over his head, his accusation written, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. And said it was customary that they write the crime that he committed up on the cross. But let me tell you, Jesus was not accused of committing the crime. He was, he was accused of being the King of Jews. I don't know about you. But when I got saved, I lost a whole lot of friends. Yes, Something yes, like me. Yes. All of a sudden, they stopped showing up because you know we ain't got we ain't going to the club no more. Right. And so that tells me right there that this is when you are serving God, you're yes. going to be accused of things, mm -hmm. and if you think you are so well liked. Mm. Why did they crucify Jesus on the cross that he did? Amen. Amen. What makes you think that they won't crucify you? Come on, D. Amen. Come on, D. Go ahead, D. They will crucify you. Right. I remember when I was in on active duty. It was okay to open up a Playboy book Jesus. magazine at work, but pull out the Bible and you look like you just you know, you just uh, committed a major crime. Mm -hmm. But if you had something, pornography or something, it seemed like it was okay. <clears throat> but Jesus, we don't want you reading that here. Jesus. Uh, you know, you, you do that on your lunch break or something, away from everybody. So that just shows you that Jesus told us that they would not like us either. And they don't. Amen. And it says in you know, verse 38, it says, Then there were two thieves. <coughs> Excuse me. And the thieves, there were two thieves crucified with him, one on the right and another on the left. And they that passed by reviled him, wagging their heads, and said, Thou that destroyed the temple, the builders did in three days, save thyself. They mocking him. Save thyself. If thou be the Son of God, come down from the cross. Now, we know that Jesus has all power mm -hmm. on heaven and earth. Yes, sir. If he wanted to come down, he, he could have came down. Yeah, and for them, if they all would be happy that he provided them with some grace. Amen. Because if he wanted to come down, he could have destroyed. But he didn't come down there to come off the cross. He came there to die. And it wasn't an option of why he died, how he died. You know, like sometimes you see where you can die by lethal, lethal injection. You're given a choice of how you want. He wasn't given a choice. He had to go die a certain way, and it was the most painful way. <laughs> and so they were basically, they were mocking him. In other words, if you are so good, come down off of the cross. Amen. Which he could have done if he wanted to. Amen. But that wasn't the plan. Because you look back and as I was reading in Matthew that he had already predicted his death two or three times. Amen. He knew he was going to die. Amen. So if he would have did it in any kind of way the plan wouldn't work. That's right. And so <clears throat> sometimes we don't know who we messing with. Amen. <laughs> You know, we're messing with you know when you're on the job and everybody know you saved and they keep messing with you. Jesus. I was talking to the apostle uh, the other night where his supervisor found out that we saved mm. and uh, she kept doing everything, trying to get fired, and uh, they ended up taking her out on the stretch because she got sick. Not that he prayed for that, but you cannot mess with the children of God. Amen. <laughs> cannot mock the children of God. You cannot sit there and, and, and make fun of them. Oh, you holy roller. Oh, you love. Someone told me the, uh, one time, oh, you one of them. Yeah. Amen. I think of uh, Cunningham. I just make sure I take out the Holy Ghost because I, I ain't been saying that long. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so I, you know, okay. I, I'll let that one go. <laughs> but yeah, I am one of them. Thank you. And I'm, I'm happy and I'm excited because every time I think about it, he paid 
in full. It was paid in full for me. And every time I think about something that ain't going right in my life, yeah. I think about it good. Yeah. Thank you for the trials of tribulation. Thank you for the pandemic. Thank you for the increase in gas. Thank you for having the car to put some gas in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, you've been done it to me and to myself. And even if you don't do nothing else, I'm still going to praise you. Because I know you got all the power on heaven and earth. And that's what we have to do when we're going through trials and tribulation like Sunday school. Don't expect everything to be perfect. The only thing you're going to go through things. I listen to testimony because it's good and healthy for all of us. I don't because I went through things and you went through things. What you went through helped me and what you went through helped me and what I went through maybe helped you. Because I, I can recall when I went to school with no shoes on. Because yeah. people told me, well, stay at home. Well, I promised my mother I wouldn't do it. Whether I had shoes or not, Jesus. I was going. Amen. And I still passed when I didn't go to school because I had, well, you know, I had people send it, bring my homework home in the bed. Jesus. And I feel that I didn't send it back to them. Yeah. But I was determined. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And, that, and he said the accusation was used against Jesus and then trial by the council. That was pilot and all that. You know, they didn't have anything on it. But you know, when the election is going on, mm-hmm. <coughs> that's when a lot of people would try to utilize, uh, take advantage of politicians. Mm-hmm. You hear it sometimes, well, you know it's election year. Mm-hmm. So what pilot is, you know, he, he wanted to be elected, but you know, he, he said, hey, look, you know, don't stir up no noise here, but do what you want to do to him. But make sure you do it, but don't nobody see him. You know, the devil is a lie. Yes, he is. The devil is a lie. Yeah. And anybody here has been convicted of something that they didn't do. Amen. 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 And found guilty at the end. Yes, Lord. Not guilty. Mm-hmm. And, and that, that's what, what happened to Jesus. He was not found guilty. Mm-hmm. But yet and still... He was put on the cross. Mm-hmm. Part of the plan. Mm-hmm. That was part of the plan. And verse 38 says, Then there was, a, we talked about the thief, 39. And they that passed by reverend him and wagged their tails. They said that it was a sign of humiliation. Amen. And if one that passed by, <laughs> the reason they passed by, it was a warning to the people that, hey, this is what we do yeah. to you save people. Jesus. huh? You ever believe people say, this is what we do? I was watching a movie where the people <coughs> that escaped from prison yeah. uh, from their POW camp, and the one that, that when they caught them, they buried them right outside, but they had the graveyard right outside, so when they look out the window, it was a reminder, this is what will happen to you if you try to run. And so that's what they were telling the people that this will happen to you. Uh, you start to talking about Jesus. And we'll dead. we'll put you on the cross too. Yes. And we'll kill you too. Yes. But Jesus said in uh <coughs> and I think it was in Matt Mark, he said, Forgive them Hallelujah. for they know not what they do. Yes. But Jesus would pray for the people that he would pray for the people that he was trying to hurt, that murder him. And would you do that? Almost how many of you would do that? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Jesus said, pray for the people that murder you. We have to pray for the people that mistreat us. Amen. We have to. I didn't say it was an option. Yes. You have to. You cannot go to heaven with a stone face hating people all the time. Because they mistreated you or they got you fired. I talked to someone the other day and they got mad because they didn't make some money. And they won't talk to nobody no more. That's a lie. You know. I told Deacon Cunningham, we found out to Deacon Cunningham, at this day, what are we going to do with a lot of money anyway? And I was <laughs> tell me what we're going to do with a lot of money. Um, <laughs> so whoever owed me, God bless him. Right. And whoever I owe, God forgive me. Right. <laughs> 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 I, 
<laughs> you know, I probably owed a lot of people, you know, that's why I didn't get the Holy Ghost that fast. So they said that, you know, you're supposed to uh, forgive everybody that you mistreated. I think I couldn't remember them all. <laughs> I think that's what took me so long. I couldn't remember all the people. Uh, when they said, you know, I want you to uh, uh, tell all the people that you mistreated you, you, you saw it. Ask them for forgiveness. I tried. But I, I, I couldn't get them all. But thank God for God and His mercy. Amen. Verse 40, I won't be long. Verse 40 says, uh, and he's saying, and you that destroyed the temple and built it in three days. We talked about, they, they were bragging about it. And, uh, they, were, they were basically saying that. Uh, you are basically was saying that you can build a temple, you can create, do all these miracles, but you can't save yourself. They once said, someone once told me that doctors uh, could save everyone but themselves, and people couldn't figure that out. But God saves. Amen. You know, He just gives the doctors the uh, wisdom to save. And what I like about this is that as I, as I get ready to close it out, is that I'm, I'm going to give a, a short testimony at the end about the baptism and the, and the Holy Ghost. You, you have to have it. But as I close it out, my favorite thing is this, is that he paid the cost to be the boss. Amen. That's right. He be. paid the cost to be the boss. Amen. For everything that we went through, he paid the cost. Amen. And we were the reason why he went to the cross. Yeah. Who would not serve a God like this? Amen. For God I live. Yes, Jesus. And God I die. Yes, Lord. No matter what we're going through, yes, Lord. we have to pray. Mm -hmm. We had sacrificial prayer this morning. And prayer answers things. God answers our hearing, our prayer. I believe that sometimes we get a little frustrated because they're not answered right away. I don't know when he's going to answer, but I know he's done a lot of things for me. As I close out, I went from the project to the pulpit. That was the plan. And, and so that everything that I've asked for, he has given it to me. I don't ask for a lot, but he's given it to me. On paper, at one income, I'm not supposed to be able to buy a house. Come on, do that. I don't make enough money. But I bought the house. Come on now. Haven't been to pay me. Come on, on time, every payment. Come on, man. And, gotta throw this in. Haven't been paying my time. And, gotta throw this in. <laughs> put a little bit more in touch. Now I'm still putting a little bit more in there. Because God has been so good to me. Amen. He's been so good to me. Amen. Every time I ask, the Bible said we ask, we have not because we have not. Amen. I have to be ahead and look, baby. I need to lower my interest rate to call me back in 90 days. Praise him. <laughs> I, I think he's going to do it. We can come back in 90 days. I immediately put that on the calendar. <laughs> <laughs> Call it back in 90 days. <laughs> but as we close here, you know, we have anyone desire a, a, a prayer. We have ministers. Anyone uh, has not received the Holy Ghost. As you know, we go to uh, John. I think John 3 and 5 says that <clears throat> if, if you have not, if you have not been baptized in uh if you have not been baptized in Jesus' name and have not received the gift of the Holy Ghost, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. 
That's what he said. So why would we be playing Russian roulette with our life? I hope that something was said to encourage someone. I'm going to turn it over to our pastor. Come on, give God some praise in the house. Somebody say amen. Don't go nowhere, Don't try to go nowhere. The word of God is true today. Yes. Jesus paid the price. Yes, he did. He said, I come that you might have life. And have that life more abundantly. And the Lord's really been pressing upon me. Praise God. You okay, Vanslo? Amen. The Lord's really been pressing upon me to remind us that I got to get this, my sins off my life. That happens in water baptism. Amen. God has been impressed upon me that you need to receive this gift called the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Same spirit that raised Christ Jesus from the dead should also quicken your mortal body. Mm -hmm. If you don't, first of all, if you have not been baptized in Jesus' name, uh, tomorrow is not promised for you. Amen. We don't know what's going to happen when you go out here. Mm -hmm. But the question I want to ask the church today is, if you died this afternoon, where are you going? It's okay to be quiet what you think about that. Amen. Where are you going? Are you going to heaven because you shook somebody's hand and you made a confession? Are you going to heaven because you've been down in his name and filled with his spirit? I don't know. Jesus says, I am the way. Mm -hmm. And if you die today, because yeah. guess what, church? We can die today. We're, we have a, we, there are more guns than people in this nation. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's a matter of fact that by the time Friday comes, God forbid, somebody else is going to die by a bullet. Amen. And bullets have no names on them. Amen. So why, why, why sit up in the church and go to hell from the church? Amen. <laughs> Amen. Why? He said, make it what you're calling an election. For sure. How can I know that? I can go down in his name. I can be filled with his spirit. God, Jesus does the Savior. We have no Holy Ghost to give you. God has the Holy Ghost. When your faith gets to a place where God is pleased, he fills you with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And I submit to you today, I want you to think about what I'm talking about today. Because we as people of God, we as people who are call ourselves the apostolic persuasion, we believe in working of miracles, we believe in the power of God, but before all that takes place, you got to be full of the Spirit of God. Amen. Can we say amen? Amen. And the Lord, praise God, will press upon me as the leader to let you know, praise God, what you need to hear. Because when uh, we stand before the judgment seat of Christ, I'm going to let God know I told him. <laughs> I told them, God. I told them. Tell them, Pastor. So I told them. And God's going to look at you and say, well, why didn't you do what you were supposed to do? Amen? So I'm going to ask one more time. Anybody want to be baptized today for the remission of your sins? Is there one today? Is there one? And he said something very profound. I think earlier, if you didn't, if you think that it ain't right, do it again. Get it right. I believe in letting you go down his name again. Make sure you get it right. Some people don't believe that, but guess what? I'd rather be right than wrong. Can we say amen? If you have not received the Holy Ghost, the Bible says, someone say the Bible says. The Bible says the Holy Ghost comes with speaking other tongues and the Spirit of God gives others. That's what the Bible says. If you got the Holy Ghost any other way, According to the word of God, you don't have the Holy Ghost. Amen. Words like this divide. But Jesus said, I didn't come to bring peace. I come to bring a sword. I come to set father against son. I come to set daughter against mother. And this is where the word of God divides us. Amen. Amen. And guess what? I don't want to be on the left side. I want to be on the right side. Amen. Can we say amen today? Amen. Amen. So I'm going to ask one more time. Is anybody want to be baptized in Jesus' name? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise him. Anybody want to receive this precious gift called the 
Holy Ghost. With the evidence that you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that if he cracks the sky, I got the same spirit that raised Christ Jesus from the dead. Amen. According to the scriptures. Right, sir. Praise him. I'm going to give you 10 seconds and we move it on. Because guess what? One day the doors of the church are going to close. Amen. But right now, while we have the grace of God on our life, make your calling and election for sure. Because Jesus paid it in full. Amen. Can we say amen? amen. If not, come on, clap your hands, give God praise. Amen. amen. Watch this. Watch this. Wherever you follow on Judgment Day, that's where you're going to be. Praise God. And I wanted to let you know, thank you, ministers. I want to let you know, praise God, that it's time out to be shucking and jiving, playing church. Right. Amen. Amen. Amen? It's time out. Too much is at stake. What shall a man give in exchange for his own soul? Amen. If the man gain the whole world and lose his soul, what does it profit that man? Amen. According to the, the scriptures, I might die tomorrow, but guess what? This Bible ain't going to change. It ain't changed. You still need to come through the word. Yeah. We're saved by the washing of water by the word of God. Yeah. So you get mad at me. How can, he, how can he tell me I ain't got the Holy Ghost? I didn't tell you that. The Bible said that. That's right, man. Tear it up the Bible, burn it up, and his word's already settled in heaven. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Praise him. And I've come, amen, to divide somebody today. I've come, praise the Lord, amen, to, 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 to upset your apple cart. <laughs> praise God. Because I want to see you make it into the kingdom of God. Amen. 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 Somebody clap your hands, give God some praise. <laughs> amen. Praise God. We thank God for his grace today. Amen. We thank God for his mercy. Let's give God praise for Deacon Gould today. Come on, clap your hands. Amen. Amen. We're going to move on our service. Thank you. Praise God for coming out today. We just got a few announcements. We do want to take up our offering. Somebody say amen. 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 Praise God. If you don't have, praise the Lord, uh, give them five. We'll take up our natural offering at this time. So ask one of the deacons to come bring in a basket. Amen. Again, we say praise the Lord. Everybody who's come out today. Amen. We pray that the blessing of God be upon us. Amen. The blessing of God, amen, be in your life. Amen. And we're going to pray. Amen. That whatever you ever give, praise the Lord. Amen. That it goes for the building of the kingdom of God. Amen. The word of God teaches us that we ought to, amen, we ought to bring all the tithes and offerings into the storehouse. Amen. That there may be meat in my house. Amen. He says, when I open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, there shall not be room enough to receive. So we want to bless the house of God with our substance today. Amen. This allows the kingdom of God to move forward. Amen. Because we have to, praise the Lord, turn the lights on. Lights on, right? Ah, yeah. It costs money. Amen. I mean, all these things, praise God, allow money and what God has said. God said if you give 10%, uh, that'll take care of the kingdom, and then I'll bless you on top of it. Yes. Amen? Yes. So we want to do that today. It is our first Sunday, so amen. I know y'all got paid. <laughs> and the Lord knows you got paid. Amen. And if this is where the place is where you call your home. Amen. Your tithe is supposed to go where you're what you call home. Amen. Can we say amen? amen. That's Bible. Amen. amen. That's the word of God. So we just want to encourage you today. And then God will bless you. As the brother said, family, but guess what? Somehow, somehow, every time I reach in there, guess what? I got what I need. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Everybody do the again. Amen. We're going to stand and bless the offering in Jesus' name. God, I thank you. Go ahead. We're going to stand and bless the offering in Jesus' name. Go ahead. We're going to stand and we're going to bless the offering. Because you got two good legs. Let's stand and honor God. Amen? Amen. Praise God. It's different than you in a wheelchair. Then, then, then you're going to want to stand. I'm, I'm just sick and tired of people disrespecting God. Maybe, maybe I just need to get off my chair. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I just need to get on my chest. Praise the Lord. Amen. We expect God to show up every time, don't we? Yes, we do. Every time you say, Lord, please. And God does what? There you are, sir. Yeah. <laughs> and then guess what? We want to give God anything. Right. Preach 
fast, folks. Praise him. Time out for that, church. That's right. Time out for that. I want everything God has for me. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And we want to honor God. Amen. When 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 we say, praise God. Hallelujah. Let's 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 just do. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. In the Old Testament, they stood all day long. So mm-hmm. Praise the Lord. So let's 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 honor the house of God. Honor the spirit of God. Amen. And honor the office of the pastor that God has placed. So not, I didn't say honor me. I say honor the office. Amen. 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 Bless the offering, people. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you first and foremost for who you are, Father. We thank you, Lord, for the giving that has taken place on today, Lord. We ask you to bless them 30, 60, 100 fold, Father. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, we will continue to use this for the uplifting of your kingdom. In Jesus' name, in the church, say, Amen. Amen. Come on, clap your hands, give God some praise. Amen. You can sit in the house of God. I'm going to turn it over here, Amen, to Deacon Murray to do the rest of the announcements. It is first Sunday, so we're just going to give it to him. Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So coming up, we know this is uh, Pastor Brown's 14th pastoral anniversary. Amen. Amen. And so you just don't hear the sound right now. It's all right. You'll see this all on social media. And what this is, is all the different guest speakers that's going to be here in the house. So not only will we have different guest speakers from all across the country, but we'll also be having a concert on the 25th, which is Saturday the 25th. If you don't know who he is, you can look up Bishop Harold Rayford. He is a saxophonist. He obviously is all the music. He's Christian. It's just instrumental. Amen. Amen. So he'll be here as well. He'll be here Friday night to preach the word. But then on Saturday, we'll have a concert. And I believe we'll probably have other uh, guests as well. But he will be the the, the main guest. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. All right. It's Pastor's A day, today's first Sunday, so just want to remind you all, just remember, just keep in mind that when we say that, it, it, you know, we, we're honoring pastor, it's not always in the form of monetary, amen? amen. Whatever you have to, you want to bless your pastor with, bless him with, amen? amen? If it is a monetary piece, obviously they can take it, but also keep in mind that it's not just pastor, it is Lady Brown and Alex as well. We don't ever want to forget his help me and his child. Amen? Amen. 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 So let's continue to be a blessing to our leader. Amen? Amen. All right. Read through the Bible. Today was the day that you were supposed to submit your team names and your team people and potentially the $5 per person uh, to Brother Max. All right. So the email is still up there. Number is max2 at gmail.com or you can just talk to him after church and you can get with him to uh, provide that information. If anybody that has not read through the Bible with us, let me know, and I'll get you set up on the app, and we'll get you on the team, and we can go from there. And if you just want to read by yourself, that's okay. Just let us know if you still need the app. Amen? Amen. Food Pantry coming up February 18th uh, in a couple of weeks. As always, it's always a good time. We appreciate everybody that comes out, but we can always use a little more hands, right? So uh, Sister Lucille is not here today, but if you have any questions about the food pantry, you can talk to Lady Brown, myself, uh, or Sister Lucille when she is in the house. Amen? Amen. Bible classes, don't forget, Wednesday at 7 p.m., we'll be back out here both in person and virtually. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Sunday school, 9 a.m., folks. 9 a.m. for Sunday school. Amen. Come on, sir. Bring that. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sunday school. And most importantly, we love you. Be encouraged this week. Be invoked by God's presence this week. And remember that next week is a good time to uh, invite somebody to come out to church. Amen? Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Did yeah. y'all, have, y'all heard the word today? Yeah. Was it a good word today? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You got to be excited about the word of God. Amen. Yeah. We are here in this country. God never forgets us. Amen. Yeah. He never forgets yeah. us. Amen. So come on out and make, make sure you be here on time so that when we have praise and worship and God starts to move in, in here, you can be part of that. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. And we do have a visitor today, uh, Apostle Morris Christian. Amen. Amen. And Apostle, Amen. I know you got here a little bit late, sir, but we want to give you an opportunity of words of expression of any sort, sir. You good? Yes, sir. Amen. 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 God bless you. All right. Well, and with that said, I'm going to ask you to rest on your feet then. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God.
we do we do have another piece after this just just bear just bear with us for the folks at home we're going to just close out service this morning amen amen, amen. so if all hearts and minds are clear we ask you once again to just rest on your feet but also at the end please do not just rush out we have one more piece to discuss amen for those of you at home god bless you we thank you we want you to know that we love you if you need prayer please put it in the chat or just message us we will get back to you amen Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you this morning yet again for being who you are today, Lord. We thank you for the visitors that's in the house, Lord. We thank you for the saints that are in the house, the friends, the family, Lord. We thank you for all the leaders in the house, Lord. Most importantly, Lord, we thank you for coming to see about Praise Temple on today, Lord. We thank you for the testimonies that went forward on today, Lord. We ask that you continue to be a healer to us, Lord. Continue to be everything that we need you to be for us, Father God. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, let us not walk out of here the same way that we walked in, Lord. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we ask these things in your name. In Jesus' name, in the church, say, Amen. 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 God bless you all.